what's going on everybody uh this is my final video for today for today about reviewing stuff um this is about my favorite belt this is a genuine crocodile belt from yoder leather company that's the name of the website uh very nice nice belt very nice this retails for 400 and something dollars so it ends, up, it ends up being around 500 at the end of the day after shipping and taxes you know you got uncle sam will get their money somehow so yeah it runs it's pretty expensive but i recommend it i like it. it's tough and i got no doubt this is going to last me quite a while when it arrives see it took about a month and maybe a week maybe two weeks for it to arrive and that's because the first belt that they were doing, apparently it had an imperfection on the leather. Um, for those who don't know what imperfection, an example of one would be this. Let me show you. Let me show you. So you see how they all go straight like that. An example of that would be, for example, right here. That one's a lot thinner. This one right here, these are a lot more round and not as long as the other ones. Some people would consider that an imperfection. I consider that a uniqueness. That makes it more, more unique, more special, more different to me. And I like that. I like different, you know. Um, but yeah, this is genuine crocodile. This, this inside. In case anybody wants to see it. On the website, apparently the stitching that they use here, it's like some, um, like uh, what is it? What did they say? It's like fire resist resistant. I can't say that. Fire resistant. Damn. Um. But yeah, apparently it's, it's very good and it doesn't look like just regular, you know, like strings or whatever. It looks tough. When it arrived, of course, it wasn't like this. It wasn't as, you know, broken in. You got to break it in like a pair of boots. Um, it was a lot more stiff. It wasn't as shiny. It wasn't this shiny. This shiny, I got it from um, cleaning it with, um, what is it called? Scout, um, Scout, what is it called? Reptile cleaner, Scout, Reptile cleaner. And it cleans and it polishes. After you, you apply it, I grab the horse hair brush and I got this shine out of it. Very nice. I usually wear this with the Ariat that I bought, this belt. But I mean, or, or honestly, also, I'll wear it with my Black Cherry uh, Lucases. I'm not really going to wear it with these, right here, with these ostriches. It's a complete different color. And I got a belt for it for a reason. But, yeah, I mean, this, this belt, I recommend it, man. It is a little expensive, but trust me, this is going to last you most, most definitely, like, your whole life, man. This very nice. I wish it had the snap-on things. You know the ones like the Tecova belt head, where you can just snap it open. This one you gotta un you gotta unscrew it. You know, it doesn't take that much time. You just unscrew it and then take out the buckle, put another one in there, screw it back up. It's it's not you know that hard, but um, but yeah, I think I already told you this buckle. I I got it. It doesn't come with this buckle. It comes with a different buckle. You you get to choose between a brass little buckle, like a regular dress belt buckle. Or um, or nickel plated, so brass or nickel plated, you get to choose. Um, I chose nickel plated, but I mean I was planning on changing the buckle anyways, and that's when I put this one. Like I told you, this one is uh, it's on thread on me, thirty five bucks, a little rattlesnake on there, like my hat, you know. I'll do a review on that some other time. Oh, but yeah, it's very very. Very nice belt, you know. I recommend it. anybody wants to get it. You know, you maybe got some spare cash to give out. Oh yeah, I recommend it. This is gonna last. This is really gonna last, man. And it looks amazing. 